Poor Joe Trucker, and we're on YouTube, Poor Joe Trucker 62. And a lot of people have been wanting to uh, see what Joplin looks like after the storm. And so I've come through here. So now that I've got some live bodies that are obviously from the neighborhood here and uh, a different t shirt so this isn't one big organization out here cleaning up. What are y'all doing? Volunteering just to pick up some trash? That's awesome. Right. Wonderful. Uh, what is the building standing behind you? Uh, that's Franklin uh, Technology Center. It was the tech center from Joplin High School. Okay. Now over here to your left, or is it your right here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, my other right. left. This is the Joplin High School. I suspect that it was, but uh, I'm not from here, so I wasn't 100% sure. And the story goes that just from what I heard on the news, the kids were not in school the day that the storm hit this school. That's right, yeah. Isn't that awesome? I yeah, mean, what a blessing. What was the chances of that? I know. And uh, graduation was going on at Missouri Southern State University, which is where we all go to school at. And um, graduation was there and was finishing up, I think, at the time that the tornado had touched down. Okay, and all of y'all live in this area? I'm just kind of just panning around and getting some of the, behind you, the, the light kills the camera, so I'm trying to just get enough light here to, to see some of you guys on screen here. Luckily, it's kind of like one of those hidden uh, shows you where uh, they don't show your true identity. I could just see the shadows, but I can't see your face, so it's like I'm <laughs> hiding your identity here. <laughs> Top secret stuff here. But uh, now, is this uh, what's this little walkway just right along here? Yeah, this was like where they connected the high school to the tech center. Sweet, and so it obviously had a roof, or was that the? It did have an awning. It did have an awning on it, and it's totally gone. W one silly question: I noticed that one business right after the next is already cleaned up and gone. Yeah, sure. Why is the reason that they haven't got this all cleaned up? I mean, you'd think this would have been the first one they would have uh, swept away. I'm thinking this is more of a government kind of establishment because it's a school. Um, you know, you have to get the state and the country and the county involved, so that's probably my assumption. Yeah, it's all an assumption. So, yeah. uh, it's a lot bigger, too. It's a lot bigger facility, but I mean, of course, you're right on the the fact that uh, as a truck driver, I'm all the way across the country. You guys go on my uh, video vlog there, and you'll see uh, I just come out of Detroit, Michigan, doing all the leaves and the scenery, et cetera. So basically, it's a truck driving uh, show, but uh, kind of a diary of my my drive through the country. Uh, seeing convoy after convoy of people dispersing to here. It was awesome. I mean, uh, not only just National Guard, I've seen cities, entire city fleets of uh, electrical, electrical trucks, tree trimming, uh, uh, mulching units, all heading here. It was yeah. just awesome. Yeah. So um, how many how many people perished in that storm? Yeah, oh, that was the official count, yeah. 162. Uh, how many perished in just this Home Depot alone? I knew that... I I remember it was like 30 people or something like that. But and you all made it okay. Where was so? Tell me some of the stories where you guys were at that day and how you survived it. I was at my work, which is Red Hot and Blue, and um, our building. See your hidden identity. Look here, look here, gals. Here. Can't see yeah. Um, and our building it actually stayed standing. We just opened up Wednesday. We were closed down for five months. Because our roof was, it took our roof and destroyed it, and there was so much water damage, we had to get out the inside. But while we were in there, it got pretty scary. We all just went to the middle of our store and hid underneath tables. Um, the and key a word, middle of the store. Yeah, and a lot of people ask why we didn't go into our walk-in, which is what a lot of other people did at the restaurants around us. And our owner said he built it and he knew it wouldn't hold up. And there was a big air compressor or something on the top of it. And so he knew if it would have collapsed, it would have been the best place to be. Great. Anybody else was in, in a building when uh, this storm hit? Well, you see what these girls are doing? They got trash bag after trash bag. I, that's awesome. I commend every one of you for doing that. As a truck driver, uh, I'm sorry to say that my fellow truck drivers have been caught leaving trash at stop signs at rest areas and and so that's another thing that I'm addressing is that there's, there's no sense in that it's where was these guys born at if we was raised up in any decent home we know to pick up the litter right, right yeah. pick up the litter hey thanks every one of you guys poor yeah, Joe Trucker we're out of here thanks.